how might we attract more women in poker? Is it the lady only tournament that would bring more women into poker? Because that's probably something that I would join, knowing that there are other women out there that are like-minded, that just are interested in knowing the game, but might feel intimidated by having all these men around them. I think that's great. Yeah, the women only events, the ladies events are absolutely fantastic for the game of poker. And we should promote that in every major series that comes along, you know, to have at least one ladies event. Uh, We see that in all kinds of forums. You get ladies events, you know, on cruise ships, you get ladies events in WBT, you get ladies events in the APT. All this stuff is, is fantastic. Those women that are truly of world class standard, of which there are many, they should be held up with the same level of recognition as a, an equivalent male player so that women can see that there are women in the field and that they do achieve. But equally, I find that women who are very well known in poker often get pressured by media outlets and other institutions to really play up the gender mm-hmm. bias angle uh, when in fact we shouldn't be looking at them as exceptional. We should see them as just really great poker players and not use it as a kind of cudgeon to say, well, this is cutting through the sexism, misogynistic culture that is poker. It should just be, hey, here's someone who's a really great player and this is how she uh, you know, got into poker and improved her skills and what she would recommend. And by all means, like, you know, specific advice for young women, be like, okay, if you're interested in poker, what would, you know, you need to be aware of. Mm. Uh, and and that's that's fine. And w- that shouldn't crowd out women. That shouldn't be, oh, this isn't for you. Uh, and it, and I think that that's true. And what else could we do? Uh, I think incorporating poker elements into areas where women are very prolific. So if, say for example, you're doing a degree in health analysis or psychology or some area where there's like a lot of women Mm -hmm. talking about poker in those environments and saying not not just as a playing of the game but how the psychology of poker or how the maths of poker or whatever it is that is appealing to that particular audience is relevant for whatever it is they're doing and can Mm -hmm. help them in their decision making help in their practice that will introduce poker in a way that's not just about money or risk right i think to appeal to women you have to explain how poker can benefit them make better decisions you know help them with their life goals help them with their self-improvement the things that women actually care about how poker really can assist in those areas and they can assist in those areas and it requires people to talk about poker in a slightly different way Uh, and and therefore it might be more appealing to women Uh, but i would again say that the goal shouldn't be to push any demographic into something that they're not suited for. Mm -hmm. The goal should be uh, to remove barriers that prevent people who are interested from pursuing that activity. There's nothing intrinsically wrong with it being predominantly male. Just as like... There's nothing wrong with so many female teachers. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. Uh, uh, There are many things that women do that men aren't interested in. It doesn't make it a problem for that thing, Mm -hmm. okay? Take activities that are female dominated, yoga, Pilates, ballet. Is it wrong that there's a gender imbalance in those areas? Is, it, is there something terrible about ballet that is the culture of ballet is just totally disgusting and keeping men out of you know, that field? Or is it just that most men aren't interested in ballet, <laughs> okay? Yeah. We don't have that same intrinsic reflex when it's a female-dominated activity. Mm. Uh, that's not to say that we shouldn't look at it and say, is there a problem? Mm. And in ballet, in fact, there might be, right? Not the actual ballet itself, but the fact that it is perceived as being, you know, a, a, a girls' club and that men who might be interested in ballet might be deterred from from engaging in it because Mm. it projects something about their sexuality or their masculinity or whatever. Um, It's worth looking at these things, but it doesn't intrinsically mean that it's a bad thing. You know, just because there are more women in ballet doesn't mean that, you know, ballet is toxic, okay? Just just because there's more men in poker doesn't mean that poker is toxic. Uh, But 
one of the tragedies would be if a girl was to say, you know, I'm really interested in poker, but I'm just not welcome at my local game. That's not okay. 